Practice fire shelter deployments are an important part of annual wildland fire training. The new generation practice fire shelter comes folded from the factory the same way as the real fire shelter. To provide each trainee with a more realistic deployment experience, the practice shelter must be refolded correctly after each use. This DVD will teach you how to refold the practice shelter with ease. To begin, prepare the PVC bag by attaching the Velcro on the red closure strap to the Velcro on the bag. Open the top of the bag so it is ready for the shelter. Set this aside. Pick up the shelter and lay it on the ground with the opening facing up. Fold the shelter in half lengthwise, making sure the floor ends and side panels are tucked inside and the stenciled folding guidelines are facing upward. Next, fold the shelter lengthwise in thirds. To do this, first fold the shelter along the fold-in line, bringing one-third of the material inward toward the fold-out line. Then flip the entire shelter over, keeping the first fold in place. Fold the two remaining panels in half, bringing the handles toward the opposite side. Your shelter should now be folded in thirds with the stenciled folding guidelines facing upward. Now you will need to accordion fold the shelter. Start at one of the shake handles. Crease the shelter along the fold-in line located by the handle so the two adjacent fold-out lines come toward each other. Fold the end material and tuck the tail inside. Start accordion folding using the lines to make even sized sections. At the ends of the shelter, make any additional folds necessary to maintain the size of the package. Fold the last bit of material to the inside of the last fold, which will make it easier to fit in the bag. Insert the entire package into the bag through the opening at the top. Make sure the shake handles are at the top of the bag where the pull strap is located. Mate the Velcro to close the bag. Place the shelter into its carrying case with plastic liner. Ensure that the pull strap is oriented correctly so the warning label on the strap is visible. Now it's ready for the next trainee.